And hello YouTube, this is GS Man on Smart, and today on a brand new video for Tutorials of GS. Today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at Audacity, the free audio editing software, and showing you how to create a telephone voice sounding effect. You know how when you talk to someone on the phone, they sound you know different from how you're sounding, they talk like they're actually talking through a telephone. Well, we're going to be showing you how to recreate that effect in Audacity with the tools that we have available, and you could basically turn any ordinary recording that you record on your microphone and turn it into a telephone voice effect very easily. So I'm going to be showing you a sample that I did here. This is an example that I did. I did a little Pizza Hut prank call, the, the usual prank call that people do on YouTube. It's just a little little thing that we did, me and my friend did. So take a listen. This is the finished product. This is what we're going to be working towards. Yeah, hello. Is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, sir. Do you guys have the new pizzas? You know, the new pizzas, the ones everyone's talking about. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I can ask the manager. Just give me one of those Cinnamon Toast Crunch pizzas. The what? The Cinnamon Toast Crunch pizzas. Uh, we don't... We don't have that... You what do you mean? Every other place has it. No, um, hold on. Alright, so there was the uh, finished product, and I'm basically going to show you how to create this specifically here. Now, if this is what you're looking for, then great, because this is what we're working towards. So, uh, this is the finished product. Let's go ahead and add the regular ordinary files in. Let's create a new project real quick here. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag in the files that we're working with here. So, dragging them in. And this is how it originally sounds. Yeah, hello. Is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, yeah, sir. Do you guys have the new pizzas? Uh, what new pizzas? Yeah. So, as you see, it doesn't sound anything like a telephone here. It pretty much sounds like it's been recorded off a microphone. So there are several ways you can accomplish this effect. One of the quickest and easiest way to do it is just by clicking, uh, highlighting the track that you want to change into a telephone effect. And you can just simply do that by double clicking this little white space area of the track here and go up to effect, go down to equalization, and then go ahead and make sure you have it set to draw curves. And down here where it says select curves, there is a telephone option here and you can click OK. Now what this will do, it'll create a telephone option for you and it sounds decent enough. Let's take a listen. Yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, sir. Do you guys have the new pizzas? Uh, what new pizzas? So that's the, uh, that is the default preset that Audacity gives you and you could use that if you'd like. It sounds like a telephone, fair enough. But there are several other things you can do for example, I'm going to be showing you another method right now, and it's actually two other methods I'm going to be showing you. So let's go ahead and go over the uh, first method that's not this one, because this method is obviously just using the preset. But one of the first methods that you yeah, can hello. do is this, oops, without using the preset, you can highlight your track again, and then go up to effects, go to equalization again. And what we want to do is make sure you're set to draw curves and check mark linear frequency scale. Check mark that. Then go ahead and grab this line here in the middle and drag it all the way up to about a little bit above 24 dB. Like right around right there. Then go ahead and click OK. And then con uh, go up to effect and click repeat equalization. And if, if it sounds too loud for you, right now it's going to sound pretty loud, but if it sounds really loud, I'm not going to play this because this is going to burst your, ear out, your ears out, but you know, uh, if you see something like this, then press Control Z and undo it because we don't want it to like blast our ears out. We want to have something like this. Yeah, hello. Is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, yeah, sir. If you have something like that, then you're good. Just for some microphones, you may need to repeat so you may need to click repeat equalization but you know if you saw what i just saw right now where everything is like really blasted out here then don't do it just undo it Control z so after we've done that what we want to do is go to effects scroll down here and find the effect that says high pass filter there's going to be two of them it doesn't matter it doesn't matter which one you click i think they like accidentally added to no idea just click the first one though and keep everything the same, click OK. And if you listen to it now, yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, sir. 
Do you guys have the new pizzas? Uh, what new pizzas? So it sounds a little more like a telephone. You can also add another one, effect. Scroll down to low pass filter. Click OK. Yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, sir. Do you guys have the new pizzas? Uh, what new pizzas? You know, the new pizzas, the ones everyone's talking about. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. I can ask the manager. So you could do that. You could uh, de-amplify it also then to make it not so loud and blasty. We go to amplify and maybe uh, decrease it by, say, negative 10. Allow clipping, okay. Yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, sir. So that's one method of doing it. it. It really depends on what you're going for, you know, what type of microphone you have, uh, what type of quality you're recording in. This will depend on if you want to add the low pass filter, but you always want to add high pass filter. So you can either use the telephone method, which I showed first, equalization and just click telephone. You can either use this method, this method where you click a linear scale, move it all the way up past 24 dB, and then do high pass filter. You can do low pass filter optional, or you can do this next method, which is the method I used. So let's go ahead and undo all this real quick. So it's back to normal. Yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, this is back to normal. And the third method you can do is go up to effect again, and scroll all the way up, find, well, find equalization, equalization, here we go. Then click graphic EQ here. And then what you wanna do is, between 500 hertz to 2000 hertz you want to keep it the same however everything before 500 hertz and everything after 2000 hertz bring it down to the minimum so this is going to be down to the minimum this will be oh come on basically 10 of these 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and then we're at then we're going to be at 2000 hertz and then everything after 500 everything before 500 bring down to the minimum as well like so and then we're going to go and click OK after that we're going to go ahead and go to effects and go down to high pass filter again click OK and then we're gonna go amplify this a bit amplify and one amplification will do you can do two amplifications if you'd like yeah hello is this the Pizza Hut? yes sir do you guys have the new pizzas? So you can do that, you can add another amplification if you'd like. Amplify again. Yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, sir. But another optional thing you could do is once again, you could perhaps do low pass filter if you'd like. Low pass filter, keep everything the same, click OK. And maybe we'll do another amplification again. Amplify. Yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Do you guys have the new pizzas? Uh, what new pizzas? And if you want to do more amplification, just another amplify. Make sure the settings are the same, don't um, change any of the amplification settings. Yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, sir. And if you want to increase the amplification more, you could perhaps move this up a bit. Right? Yeah, hello, is this the Pizza Hut? Yes, sir. But those are basically the, the tools there. You're either going to be using the equalization here, and you're either going to be using the Graphic HQ, you're either going to be using Telephone here, or you're either going to be clicking Linear Frequency Scale and moving this up, and then doing High Pass Filter and Low Pass Filter, or just High Pass Filter. You know, like I said, uh, these methods depend on your microphone, they depend on your voice quality. You know, uh, this video is really hard to make it black and white, like this is exactly how you have to do it. It's hard to write it in stone. But you know, I'm giving you the tools, what you need to work with. You need to work with equalization. You need to work with linear frequency. You need to work with uh, the graphic EQ. You need to work with a high pass filter, definitely. 
Uh, low pass filter is optional. Amplification using the amplify effect is optional too. But those tools right there, those are the ones that are going to help you create this effect. Like I said, there's no formula in stone to create this effect. You sort of have to play with those options, you know. Uh, perhaps you want to go to linear frequency and perhaps maybe uh, scale it. Well, we don't want to do that. Perhaps you want to scale it higher even. Perhaps you want to uh, scale it up to, you know, 30 maybe or maybe 24 only. You got to play with these settings. You know, uh, hopefully those tools right there you'll, you'll get familiar with. Uh, hopefully the tools right now that I've shown you, you are familiar with them a little bit and you're more confident in using them. But uh, that's pretty much it for the video. I just wanted to give you guys the tools that you need to create this effect. And uh, hopefully, you know, you'll be able to create a telephone effect. You know, for me, it worked very well by doing the graphic EQ and uh, lowering everything uh, before 500 hertz and after 2000 hertz and then doing a high pass and a low pass and then amplifying it two times or so. For me, that worked. But if you have any suggestions, you know, we're all here to learn, go ahead and leave the comments down below. Perhaps other users will find it helpful, you know, sharing your settings that you have maybe. But um, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I have plenty of uh, Audacity tutorials, plenty of other uh, software tutorials on my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, I encourage you to do so. Uh, you'll learn a lot. And uh, any questions or comments, anything you're confused on, something's not working for you, comment below. I'll try my best to answer them. And that'll be it for this video. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well, and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours, depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how-to videos, so if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too. Really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Man Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.